Hello and welcome to this week's CCB Kids Online. Well, it's lovely to be back with you. Have you had a good Easter holiday? We're interrupting this program because reports are coming in from Jerusalem that a man called Jesus, who was put to death by the Romans a couple of weeks ago at the Passover festival, has been seen alive. We've asked the Roman authorities for their comment, but have had no reply. We've also been in touch with the chief priest's office and asked for an interview, but no one was available, although they have offered a brief statement saying, dead men don't come back to life. I'm now handing straight over to our reporter in Jerusalem. Hello. Rumours are abounding here to what exactly happened to this man Jesus, who claimed to be the King of Jews. Has he really come back to life? Was he even killed in the first place? Was his body stolen or is it just fake news? I've come here to find eyewitnesses to the events in order to check this story out. I have here with me the Roman centurion who was in charge of the crucifixion. The big question on people's minds is, was Jesus really dead when they took his body off to the cross? No doubt about it. I've been doing this job for years. I never get it wrong. I, I even made sure he was dead by piercing his side with my spear. And blood and water came out of the wound. A sure sign of death. You can check that on Google. Someone in my position cannot afford to make a mistake. He was dead. I have here as well one of his close friends called Mary, who claims to have seen him alive three days after his body was sealed in the tomb. Mary, could you tell us what happened on that morning? I went to the tomb with some of the other women, but when we got there, we couldn't believe it. The gigantic stone sealing the tube had been rolled away and his body wasn't there. The others ran back home, but I stayed there crying my eyes out. Where was the body? Who had removed it? That's when I heard someone else in the garden. I couldn't see through my tears and thought it was the gardener. But then he called out my name. Mary, only one person could ever say my name like that. I wasn't dreaming. It was Jesus! Alive! Don't hug me now, said he said. There, there'll be time for that later. Go and um, go and tell my friends you've met me and I am alive. Thank you, Mary. That's just amazing. The Roman soldier said Jesus was definitely dead when his body was put in the tomb. Three days later, you met him alive again. We now hear from a couple of other friends who met him later that same day. Could you tell us what happened? My friend and I live a few miles away in Emmaus, and we were walking back home from Jerusalem after Jesus had been killed and buried and we were feeling very sad and confused about what had happened. We had thought he was the one promised by God who would save his people, but how could a dead man do that? Well, as we were talking, a man caught up with us and started walking alongside us. He asked us what we were talking about, and we told him about our friend Jesus dying on the cross, and about the woman saying he was alive again. We thought that must be nonsense. The man told us we were being very slow at understanding what God had said in the Bible. 
We didn't mind him saying that because he went on to explain it all. He said that God's people had disobeyed him, so God planned a way for them to be his friends again. The man reminded us how Abraham, Moses and David had all known about God's plan and how Isaiah the prophet talked about this special person coming from God. He would have to die and then come back to life again. We began to see that Jesus was this special person and it was all part of God's plan. At last we reached our house. It was getting late so we invited the man to stay with us. When we sat down to our supper, our visitor took the bread, thanked God for it and broke it and gave it to us. Suddenly, we recognised him. It was Jesus. At that moment, he disappeared, but it didn't matter. He, we knew that Jesus was alive. God's plan had worked. We forgot about our supper and went straight back to Jerusalem. We told the good news to Jesus' other friends and found out some of them had seen him too. That's all I have time for you now, so I'll hand you back to Graham in the studio. Thank you. This is amazing. Tune in next week when we hope to have found more people to bring us their accounts of what happened. We can now go back to Helen at CCB Kids Online to resume our scheduled programme. Well, this is really amazing news. Some people actually saw Jesus alive even after he had died. In fact, there were some women who went to Jesus' grave early in the morning on that first Easter Sunday and they thought his body had been stolen. But an angel suddenly appeared to them and said, Why are you looking here for a living person here in a graveyard amongst the dead? Jesus isn't here. He's alive. He has risen. Our song today uses those angels' words. Why not sing or clap or even dance along as we listen to it? Jesus is alive. He is risen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the things we have enjoyed during our Easter holidays. We thank you for the beautiful sunshine, for the excitement of flurries of snow. We thank you that we can return to school this week and for the privilege of education. We remember those children around the world who do not have all the things that we often take for granted. We thank you for the opportunities you give us to share the good news of the Easter story. Help us not to miss these opportunities because we are too busy or lack the confidence to tell our friends. May our actions speak for us when we struggle to find the right words. Heavenly Father, in the last week we took the next steps on the road out of lockdown. Our shops, hairdressers, gyms have been able to reopen, bringing the opportunity for many to return to work and to begin to rebuild their businesses. It is a time of relief for many, but help us to remember those who are still isolating, those who are lonely, 
those who have lost their jobs and security as a result of the pandemic. Heavenly Father, we remember our royal family as they grieve the loss of Prince Philip. We think of all people that are grieving the loss of a husband, a parent, a grandparent or a good friend. We ask that they will be comforted, supported and surrounded by love. Help us to show your love and support to those we know who are grieving here in our Christchurch family. As we enter this new week, may all our actions be filled with love, kindness, joy. Help us to be patient, to have self-control when things are challenging. Help us to shine brightly for you in all we say and all our actions to everyone we meet this week. Amen.